In this video, I'm going to discuss the gate exam syllabus for engineering mathematics, for electronics communication, electrical and instrumentation engineering. And we will also look at the topic wise mass distribution and weightage. Hi, welcome to Vedanta Education, a YouTube channel that helps you to crack technical competitive exams like GATE, ISRO, DRDO, IES and many more for electronics communication, electrical and instrumentation engineering. So let's discuss now the GATE exam syllabus for engineering mathematics topic wise by going on to my computer for electronics communication, electrical and instrumentation engineering. The GATE exam syllabus for electronics communication, electrical and instrumentation has three sections. The first is the aptitude. The second is the engineering math, which in this video we will look into details and then you have the basic and core subjects. For the full syllabus of electronics and communication for GATE exam, please check out the video in the i button. Let's look at what topics are there in the engineering maths. You have seven topics in engineering maths that you have to cover for studying for the GATE exam. First is linear algebra and then you have calculus and differential equations, vector analysis, complex analysis, numerical methods and probability and statistics. So all of these topics are very important. For example, if you are studying for electronics and communication electromagnetic subject, vector analysis is very important and even calculus is very important. So in order to get a good score, it's better if you don't skip any of these subjects. These subjects will be taught to you in the first and second year of your engineering, that is one to four semesters. And it's very important that you study all of these subjects and don't skip any of the topics. Now let's look at the topic wise marks distribution of the 15 marks within the engineering math. So you have a linear algebra appearing for a maximum of four marks, calculus appearing for a maximum of three marks, differential equations appearing for two marks, vector analysis two marks, complex analysis three marks, numerical methods appearing for a maximum of two marks and probability and statistics again appearing for three marks. This pie chart shows the weightage of these topics in the engineering maths. So you have linear algebra that is appearing for 21% of the times and then you have calculus 15%, differential equations 10%, vector analysis 10%, complex analysis 15%, numerical methods 10%, probability and statistics 15%. From here you can know that linear algebra is one of the most important parts in engineering math that appears for 21%. But this weightage is not consistent in each year and this weightage can change every year in the GATE exam. I have put all the information and syllabus in the link below which you can download for your own reference. It's very important for you to know that a good understanding of the engineering mathematics is very essential for getting a very good GATE score as well as a good ranking. There are basically two reasons for this. So the first reason is that most of the basic and core subjects of your engineering branch are dependent on the engineering mathematics. For example, there are subjects like electromagnetics and uh, control systems, communication systems, which are heavily dependent on the engineering maths. For example, electromagnetics is dependent on the vector, uh, vector analysis and calculus, whereas your uh, communication systems is heavily dependent on Fourier transform and probability and statistics. Another subject called control systems is heavily dependent on Laplace transforms. So the engineering maths forms the foundation on which you build your understanding of the subjects of your engineering branch. So it's very essential for you to have a good understanding of engineering maths before you study the core subjects. Another reason is connected with the gate exam paper itself. You have three sections in a gate exam paper, which is aptitude, engineering maths, and your basic and core subjects. Engineering maths comes for around 15 marks every year, and it's very important that you get all of these marks. These marks are basically easy marks compared to the core and basic subjects where you have to put a lot of effort and time in order to answer those questions. Whereas engineering maths is quite easy. These are very easy 15 marks which you have to go ahead in the beginning and grab them in order to get a very good GATE score as well as a good ranking. So that was the syllabus for engineering maths for GATE exam for electronics communication, electrical and instrumentation engineering. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends. Also let me know which is the easiest section in the gate exam paper in the comment section below. Is it the aptitude, engineering maths or the core subjects? Subscribe to our channel if you are electronics communication, electrical and instrumentation engineer and want to crack technical competitive exams like gate, ISRO, DRDO and many more and to improve your understanding in basic subjects to get placement in core companies. Check out this playlist that I have put here which provides more information on the gate exam 
for electronics communication, electrical and instrumentation engineers.